Hi there, and welcome to the Projects Distilled YouTube channel where we talk about all things project management. I'm glad that you're here. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a tool called Tascade. Tascade is a productivity tool that also has some project management capability in it, but kind of like Notion that we reviewed previously, it also has ChatGPT built into it. It uses ChatGPT version 3.0, just like Notion did. We know that that's a good solid engine. It has some limitations. There's newer and better out there, but at least tools are now starting to incorporate AI into them. I didn't know much about Taskade, so I did a little bit of research. It actually, it's a newer company, it's a newer tool. It comes from the Y Combinator and startup engine that's out there. It's got a lot of backers, and one of the things that I noticed is that it actually is a very slick interface. It looks very cool, it's very modern looking, uh, and the AI integration is actually really good. So let's dive in right now. All right, here's our blank canvas in Taskade. I've created a new project. Here's the projects on this side. Open office in Poland. Now, Taskade is a little bit more of a task manager than it is a project manager, but it has some cool AI, so let's take a look at what it can do. All you have to do is type slash. You can get an AI assistant, an outline, expand, rewrite. These are all actually AI tools that are available. So we're gonna ask it to create tasks for opening office in Poland and see what it can do. So it's developing, so research the legal requirements, find a suitable office location, hire local staff, including managers, set up physical space, develop a marketing sales strategies, develop a budget and financial plan. Good. So it came up with a list of 10. What's nice is we can ask it to regenerate. We can make a copy of it or we can select insert. So we are going to insert these. So now that these are inserted, you can add more if there are more things. But what's great about this interface is we can ask it to expand and it's going to expand on the first one. To set up a business in Poland, you'll need to follow legal requirements, registering. Look at that. It's actually uh, adding in some Polish in there. So we're going to insert that. So task one now has subtasks. So let's see how deep we can go with this. This is not something we've been able to do with other tools. So obtain necessary permits and licenses. Let's see if we can expand that even further. Great. So we've gone now three layers down with tasks that it has created. And, you know, at first blush, these are good places to start. As always, you're going to want to use your best thinking cap to make sure that these are what really should be in there. Look how quickly we've generated a first draft project plan. That's pretty amazing. So I'm going to add a task and we are going to ask the AI assistant to create a an outline for project kickoff meeting. So we've seen other tools and ChatGPT itself create these types of things. What I'm looking for in this is whether there's anything specific to the Polish office and there is not anything in here. It's just uh, generic. So let's see what regenerate does for us. So it's also creating relatively generic ideas, but not anything specific to this project. We're gonna take those and we're gonna insert those. So now we're gonna give it another test similar to that one. Create agenda for Poland office kickoff meeting. So we're not gonna do number three, presentation of company's mission and goals, but the others at least is including the word Poland in there. So that's uh, that's fair. Even if that's not exactly what you want, quicker to edit and change that. So let's look at this and see if we can do any additional tweaks. AI assistant. Oh, interesting. It's showing us how to create an agenda within Taskade itself. Okay. We're going to give it another task, right? We're going to give it another task. We're going to ask the AI assistant to write a project update for the Poland project. This really taps into the strength of ChatGPT. It's so language efficient. Now we don't have a full project plan built out in Taskade right now. So it is just giving us some generic things. Completion date of Q4, which I had put in there. So that's good. So look at that. Now we're going to go back in and, and I'm not going to ask it to regenerate. Oh, I forgot to save it. We're going to ask it to create a project update for Poland project. And please report that the Poland project is progressing well, it's currently on track, project scope, project team. It's making a lot of assumptions in there. I haven't given it much data to go on, except that I wanna, that it needs to be complete by the end of November. So you'll obviously again, wanna go in and make sure that you can fix those things. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna going to insert that so we have a record of it, but we're gonna go in the AI assistant again, and we're going to ask it to summarize. Well, 
Okay, it, it started to and it didn't really uh, do a good job. Let's see what we generate. Okay, I think it's because we don't have any specific bullets called out for updates that it's not able to. So we'll just chalk that up to it not having enough context. So here we are back at the top of our original task list and its recommendation, research legal requirements for setting it up, etc. So we're gonna actually go in and ask it some additional information. Do you recommend any local commercial attorneys in Poland to create the entity. So it can't make personal recommendations, but it is suggesting websites that can make those recommendations. So that's pretty cool. And I don't know if you saw here um, an option, which I thought was pretty cool, is that we can translate into other languages. I don't see Poland in here. Let's, uh, let's translate that into Czech. There it is, martindale.com, avo.com, hg.org. I'm just going to have to take uh, its word that it's translating it correctly. So there you go. So in just a few minutes, look at all of this that we've been able to create. Tools like Taskade, tools like ChatGPT are able to just jumpstart and really advance the work that we do as project and program managers. All right, so that's a quick look at the AI and the way that Taskade has built ChatGPT into its functions. I really like the flexibility and the power that it's given to it. I like how it has a drop down menu that's easily accessible, yet you can expand beyond that. The answers coming out of it really very similar to what we've seen before because it's the same engine that we've seen before. At this point, ChatGPT may be sick of me asking about Poland projects. But the bottom line is that if you're looking for a tool that integrates ChatGPT into it for productivity, I think Taskade's a really good option for you. I love that I was able to just use the free version of it and it already had the AI already built in. Notion, I had to pay extra to get that AI functionality. And with Taskade, I get virtually unlimited use of the AI engine. If you liked what you heard, please like and subscribe this video. If you want to find out more about Taskade, I have an affiliate link in the description of the video. Please use that. I do get a little bit of a reward if you were to sign up for Taskade. Thank you so much for watching.